Hello. H hello. Good out of morning. Happy, happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Oh got, my gosh, it's Friday. I got things working. Yeah, you did. I Look, the bombs are back. The bombs are back. You did it. The bombs are back in town. The bombs are back in town. It turns out it was a bunch of token authorization resets and stuff. I figured it might be linked to the whole th thing that happened with Twitch. Great job, dude. So yeah, I did it. I did it. It's all, it's all, it all seems to be on, on the mend. I added something. You added something? I added something. What could you possibly have added? Another new feature, Doig? This I'm, sounds unlike you. Yeah. Uh, I added, I added, I added, um, 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 stop spamming for a second. Another lever. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. It's not a lever. I should make it a lever. <laughs> no, please. Please don't. You don't need it to be a lever. India, do a cool action. A cool action? Yeah. Um, uh, uh. Oh, oh, what do I got? Oh. Oh, oh, you need your eyes faint changed for that one. Do I? Yeah, they've Oh, yeah, gone. they've gone kind of faint, huh? This is pretty cool. What do you think? Do a jump. Do, do, do uh, another one. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. <gasps> it didn't work. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, maybe I need to be focused for that one. Three, two. Well, that's good. Well, what is what? what is this? What is this? What is this? I like how your mouth is still working. Yeah. Do, I don't know. Do, what What is this, Doig? I got a photo mode. You you put a photo mode I put into a photo the overlay. Mode. In the game. <laughs> I don't even know where you are. You're, you're incredible. You're <laughs> There's my foot. Yo, my foot. It's right there. There it is. Here I am. There you are. I like how I'm just standing. You're I'm just... not doing anything dynamic at all. I'm just standing in the air. That's because that's because you don't have. Wait, why would you had a jump on him? It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> that, can... Yeah. Nice. I can, I can make it. I think I can do things with the mouth. It looks like you can still alter your facial expressions and eyebrows and stuff while you're. Oh yeah. Oh, let's see. Okay, get get back down here. Get back down here. Get okay. Back down. Okay, here I am. Okay, let's see. Let's test. Do do different faces. Do different faces. It's working. <laughs> I mean, the eyes aren't working. But and the can, eyebrows aren't working, but it's kind of working. You can, you can you can do this though. Tilt them down with the, the trigger. I sure can. Yeah, that wor that works. We can't if we could move our eyes. That would be awesome. I didn't program this. It's just it's just. In I there. can control it too. Yeah. That's cool. I found a way to wrangle control away from Doig. Go, go for it. Yes, it's beautiful. I, I got an email from Unity and they were like, we just added a photo mode. And I was like, oh, okay. Vignette. Oh, it's beautiful. Go the other way. <laughs> Don't we to put a dark vignette on it. There we go. Yeah. Look, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why why is it continually spinning? Oh, because I was holding the trigger. Oh right. <laughs> I see. I don't know how to make it bigger or smaller. Oh that's that's the, the, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, this is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good job. Yeah. Do you have any other stickers? How do we Oh, I can switch in and out of that mode. That's cool. Oh, different stickers. Um, there. How do you? How do I switch between them? Uh, it's the Y button on the controller. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm into this. This is this is great, dog. Yeah. We 
could add Jojo <laughs> marks and stuff. Jojo marks. Yeah, you know. Jo the, Jo. You know the little piece of like it's either kanji or katakana or hiragana or whatever the Japanese symbols. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. This is it. This is it. This is great. Yes. I love it. You better take a photo, Doig. All right, let's. Okay, if we swap it. Uh, I think. Where is it? Um. I think if you hit. Oh, okay, so there's back. But I, I don't want to go all the way back. But I want to get rid of the UI. Okay, if we if we. I'm gonna take a screenshot anyway. Um, just so we have it. Okay. Oh, those! I see protagonist. I see, I see. But then if we hit that, no. Uh oh. I got. Ah. Oh. You reset your position. Shit. Oh well. Doig was once here, <laughs> but he's not anymore. I'm not anymore. Okay. Oh, wait. There's different... Different... Oh, oh, oh. One. If I do back... Oh, I should have just done that. Oh, right. no, but my my shades. What oh, no. What an idiot. And hide UI is two. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not here. You're not here anymore. Where have I gone? This is great, though. I mean, you reset yourself, I'm so... <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! I like how you're still rotating around where you were, though. Yeah. Oh well. That's okay. Never mind. <laughs> My failure. Okay, there we go. Hey. Hey. Well, that's pretty incredible, Doig, that you've done this in one night. It, it's literally, dude, dude, dude. It's like literally like download package, put prefab put in scene, set up a little bit of material stuff, done. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. Wait, what happens if people redeem bombs during that? It it probably just go to the the first frame. Like it would probably just spawn here and then stop. <laughs> I can imagine us trying to take a picture and slowly bombs start spawning in. Until there's like twenty of them. Let's let's try it, let's try it. Okay. okay. Throw some bombs. Zoom out a bit, Joy. Zoom out a bit. Yeah, look. <laughs> uh oh. It's right, it's right on my <laughs> eyeball, doink. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hide you why? Hide you why? This is uh, frightening. This too. Look at the cereal there now, too. The thing is, there could be multiple bombs, but we don't know. But we because don't know they're all they're in contained. the same position. Yeah. yeah. All right. We should come out of it. <laughs> I think, I think we should. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. Martina's already got the thumbnail. Oh, really? Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> Doig, you have to. I feel like there's so much stuff here. You ready? Next to my face. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, oh, that was a lot. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, cool. The sound did not know how to account for that. <laughs> oh my god. Whoop. You did this. <laughs> I, I merely presented the opportunity. Look how much cereal there is now. It's amazing. Yeah. Let's have a look at this thumbnail. Oh, well, this is just... This is what Martina's baked this morning. Look at it. It looks incredible. It's like... It's like a pear chocolate tart. She got it. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's it. It looks great. It looks incredible. <laughs> yes. They're, they're both crafted by uh, Martina. Yeah, both things are equally good. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, you made that yesterday. It looks incredible. Oh, looks so good. Yeah, Chef Martina, she, she's incredible. Just, just, oh, if I could bake like that. Oh, you look so happy. If I hit P, does it? 
No, it doesn't stay. I have I have to. I, I'm gonna have to build on top of this to either choose that we can like move during during it, like a mode where you know you know in Spider-Man the photo mode you can either be like a selfie or not. Yeah. And when you move it around, he moves the arm and stuff. <laughs> what well, you want to be this able to good, strike though. poses in photo mode? This is good. If I set this to here, and then, and then uh, do to this is such a good way to get better thumbnails. It sure is. Yeah. This is a great idea, Doig. Thank you. I, as soon as I saw it, it was like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> it's all going to be fine. <laughs> Doig, the longer <laughs> you trap us here, the worse it's going to be, my dude. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to save them from the audio. I'm going to save them from the, the audio. How? So I've turned down the desktop audio so they don't get you guys. Oh my god, you guys know. Oh my god, no. you guys know, please. No. No. <laughs> Stop. No. <laughs> Look, you can see all the names overlapping in the lower left. Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> That's too many Holy people. shit. No. Stop. <laughs> Doig, you have to stop. <laughs> Free is Doig before it's too late. Doig, please. Doig, you have to- Oh my <laughs> gosh. Yo. I like that you tried to photo mode it. I did, yeah. That that would have been awesome. Oh my gosh, that's so many bombs. I saved them from the sound though. Well, our room is destroyed. I hope you're all happy now. You've destroyed everything we love. Oh, there's my tea. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's. Oh, I also changed it so that when you hold the T in default position, it looks like it's in your hand. I like it. You like it? It looks great. Yeah. Oh. In, def in default position. I just won't move. <laughs> that's great. I love adding new things. That's one of the worst things about things breaking is it prevents you from adding new things because you're meant you're meant to fix the thing that you've already done. You're meant to, yeah. <laughs> well, should we should we go to the other place? What other place? The art zone. The art zone. The art zone. Calzone. Mmm, calzone. I don't I don't like where my microphone is. It's so it's so far forward. I like where your mind's at though. Calzone. Yeah, okay. Um if we head over maybe, Oh I figured out a cool new thing. Watch this, India, watch this. Okay. Oh, thank you someone for resetting my cup. <laughs> I saw it slowly fly back over to the table. Oh yeah, I took it. I took us being teleported out of the rewind the room, so only we can reset ourselves. But the room gets reset. It makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's the new thing that you found? Um, I'll show you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Uh, I'll show you on this window. This is a multi-view for all the different scenes well, that, what we, the... that we can potentially go to. What the heck? What, what, but so none of them the art one. Um, this one is the art one, but it would if we went over there as it is now, we would still be showing the overlay as it is. This is where they all look the same, Doig. <laughs> they all look the same. They don't all look the same. They're apart from the ones <clears throat> which are black screens. It, the ones that don't show the overlay. <laughs> Watch. I, I... What is this? <laughs> because they all have the overlay over the top of them, they are showing the overlay. But it's what we would switch to. It's what we would look like if I switched to the other one. It'll make sense if I do the. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, can you make sure that your NDI is on and updating? Um. Yes. It was on last night. 
so it might still just be on. So as long as you don't have anything uh, untoward. Oh no, hold on, let me get rid of my screen, phone. Like NDA. Okay, so. yeah. We good. We good? Yeah, I had another check. It should definitely be on. Okay. If we do this. See? Oh. Ooh. Ones. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's magic boys. That's what that is. Yeah, that's magic boys. <laughs> Amazing. Hide the butts. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. But they're so big though and hard to hide. Ah! Yeah. This is a... This is a... I finished this page yesterday, so I'm on to the next page now. Page 59, guys. Um... And I'm... I get to draw Jove in this page, so I'm super excited. This is the last time I get to draw Jove oh, that's so in this comic. I was going to say, for 15 minutes, so good, my dude. It's so good. Thank you. It's exciting. We're almost at 10 pages to go. Holy, holy, holy mo. Almost. Holy mo. Holy mo. Um. Yeah, yesterday, India turned around, and she was like, are you? Oh. What? Thank you for someone pop it, popping the pre-order comic link up there. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can pre-order it from girlinthegloom.com. And it'll be amazing if you guys wanted to do that. Because it helps me out a lot. But anyway, you sorry. Get, you you pre-order the book. You get a book if you pre-order. You do. You pre and the book's book. going to be 120 pages long. So it's pretty hefty. It's a chonker. And ask, ask anyone who's bought the first edition... How, how, how much they liked it. The first edition get... is just the first 60 pages. Yeah. But yeah. Don't drop this book on your toe, or your toe won't survive. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's a toe killer. It is. It's, it's a toe killer. It's on the Christmas list. <laughs> it's not coming out until next summer. It's true. It's not. So if you order it, it won't be, it won't be around till like June or something. But it's 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 really good, and it's gonna be much better when there's more story. I hope so. Anywho, you were talking about. I think you're gonna talk about pizza. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so I I got real sad yesterday when all the things didn't work, and so I was just kind of like crouched over Blender, and India turns and she's like, "Are you? Are 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 you do are you doing what I think you're doing?" And I was like, "What?" And I like turned around like a frightened beast. And she was like, have you modeled a pizza? And I was like, yeah. She's like, why? I was like, I just, I want to put things that I like into the overlay. This is Doug's equivalent of eating his feelings, which is just, instead of eating a pizza, I'm going to model a sad pizza because also, I'm feeling sad. I also made a VHS tape. When I asked Doig why, he said, because I want to put things that make me happy into the overlay. And I was like, you know what? That's an incredible reason. And I can't, I can't tell you not to, because that's just, yeah. that's a great reason to put things into the overlay. So, yeah, got a, got a pepperoni. Do, do I have a VCR player? Uh, n no. But I thought it might be cool if... <laughs> Like, we, there was different v VHSs, and when we put them in a in a player, then they play something on the screen. Oh, but yeah? That, that was, that was, yeah, that was... <laughs> it was a, you want to have, like, a, a Starlight Brigade tape? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted <laughs> to do. <laughs> I knew it! You're so cute. You put it on the VHS and made it look like an old movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we get a, get a little tape and we're like, oh, we're going to show you something. Yeah. Oh, it's going <laughs> to be real good. And then we run over to the VCR player and pop it in. I get it. You should do a thing where if people send you like a YouTube link or a video file, then it appears as a tape. It appears as a tape. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> oh, no. And I could, I could yeah. grab the thumbnail of the video. And it could go, go on the box. On the box. Yeah. 
Yeah. Shit, this is a good idea. Uh, yeah, pop, pop it, pop it on the Trello board. Okay. You okay, gotta do a okay. spooky swift today. I wanna I gotta, take I gotta no for Gotta do spooky swift today. Yeah, you gotta spook me up. <laughs> yeah, Jim of the Gym says, make it play that sound of putting in a VHS. Have it so you have to rewind it first. <laughs> <laughs> I I was gonna make a tweet yesterday, which is like kids these days don't know the the um the endless wait between hitting rewind and play on a VHS. Yeah, they don't know the pain of like trying to record something on a blank tape oh, and yeah. then playing through it and then seeing some of your cartoons at the end, like having been written over, <gasps> left <laughs> remaining, and being like, no, that was Robin Hood. I thought it was empty. No, and then you didn't. your dad's like, "You should have used the stickers and labeled it properly, shouldn't you?" No, you're there's like, a, no. There's a little, there's a little plastic part on a tape that you can like break off, and then the VCR knows that it shouldn't be overwritten. Oh, really? Yeah. I did not know that. Did you not know that? Too late. It's too little, too late, dog. Just leave me here to die. I, I had a VCR in my room. Which is, Whoa, which is dangerous. Fancy. Which is dangerous. Because yeah. I would just sit and wait until 11 p.m. And I would just tape the after after hours <gasps> programming. Don't you tape porn? I have a porn tape out there somewhere. Oh in my the, gosh. <laughs> it was like super tame soft core stuff as well. Wow. It was like, oh, she's going to reveal a leg. Victorian porn. And, and like... <laughs> I'd only I'd only tape the good parts, so I just had a full tape of just legs, <laughs> just legs. <laughs> I have, dude, I have no idea where that tape is now. I bet someone found it, dog, and was like, "Oh, I have no, I have no idea." That's that's hilarious. I must I have been that. I must have been like thirteen or fourteen. Yeah. When I got a TV in my room with a VHS player, the only thing that happened was repeated viewings every single night of Muppets Treasure Island. <laughs> Imagine my mum sold it. She's like, oh, what's what's written on this tape? Misk. Someone will enjoy that. <laughs> I've no I dude, I have no idea what I'm like labeled it as. You probably labeled it as like what I would have done is label it as an actual movie so that it, would avert suspicion. <laughs> yeah. So Blade I hope that like you can label it ro <laughs> Robocop or something. <laughs> and your mum was like, oh, people will enjoy Robocop. <laughs> Bicep workout. <laughs> <laughs> Not porn. Do not watch, please. <laughs> Classic. Oh, man. Yeah. You know what? In fact, I'm going to reuse the other panel. I want to reuse this panel. <laughs> this is Ghostbusters. Please don't watch. It's scary. <laughs> yeah. Too scary for you. Please do not watch. The uh, how? What? 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 Like, what? It's a duh. What's a duh? I, I, <clears throat> I was wiping my eye and I made an exclamation with my vocal cards. <laughs> okay. I was going to ask people how Friday is for them so far. Although I think quite a few people are on Thursday night or like very, very early Friday morning. Too many views, too much ectoplasm. Please do not watch. Scary, scary ghosts. It's only been Friday for an hour for you. It's like 9 a.m., quarter to 10 for us. In the future! Future! Future. Future. Very early Friday, gang. Aw, welcome, guys. Thank you so much for being here, even though it's super late for you. Schnoo Art says, it's good. I think I finished my Schnoo Bear scene. I got the anime glasses working. That's incredible. 
Hey, I saw a. I think I saw a screenshot of that the other day. Are really? you modeling a bear? It looked really cool. It looked <clears> super <throat> cool. Yeah, Bus cool. driver cut up says my Friday is just beginning, but my sleep schedule is basically reversed from my time zone. Oh, Emlet says there is a viewing party with the production crew on my first Mala project today. It'll be releasing to the public very soon. Oh, Emlet, that's so exciting. That's awesome. I dude. hope the viewing look goes well and is cool. I'm sure it will. I'm looking forward to seeing what you've been up to. Drag tail is almost five in the morning for you. Holy guacamole. Aw, Onsta, that's really sweet. Seriously, thank you for being here. You, you and everybody who is up way past, way past hours. We're just gonna chill out and do some comic. Have a chill Friday morning. Try and get this, uh, this uh, last page before the last 10 done. That's right, it's the last page before the last 10 pages. <laughs> this stream is your weekday morning cartoons. It's good, Aww. yeah. What, what are they going to do next Ooh. on the Dark and Swift show? Previously, they were making comics. Let's catch them up with the gang today, children. <laughs> why did I think why? the Raiders sounded like that? <laughs> Yeah, what? British what? TV, and you know? What is that narration voice? It's like the opposite to what you would hear on a kid's TV show. Know. <laughs> it just happened, I don't know. They're on, they're on an adventure, they are. They're out in the woods, they're gonna go find a porn tape. <laughs> Under the fucking log, isn't it? Yeah. The porn log. <laughs> the porn log, yeah. Did you have a porn log in your time? I never found mine. No, I no. made mine. You made a porn log. You just stashed all of your RoboCop VHSs in there. <laughs> My RoboCop VHSs. <laughs> Twenty-five-year-old Doig would be horrified that he revealed that fact. Nearly thirty-four-year-old Mike is like, "Fuck it." Yeah, <laughs> whatever. What are they gonna do? Find my porn log. I really want to know where it went. The no. porn log. No, the yeah, the, the tape. I bet you my brothers found it and they were like, this is Gold. this is sacred. Yeah, I bet. But Although, to be honest, By your the brothers... time they would have discovered it, the internet would, yeah. be, would be a thing. Your brothers grew up in a time where they did not have to yeah. like sit in the dead of night and try and record things on a VHS. They can just Google and get whatever they want. Exactly. Oh, I'm so excited that my spooky Swifty is going to be happening. It is, it is. People like to dump porn in the woods. Is it really a thing that people like to do? Bag Puzzle Parsi the Lion narrator. And Kirinara of a Parsi the Lion. You hated Parsley the Lion so much. You hated Parsley? Yeah, I had, it, I had it on tape. I don't know why. I think it was part of a compilation. And it always really creeped me out. India, if we were an action cartoon, if yeah. we were an action Saturday morning action cartoon, uh huh, you know, like Mask or you know Iron Man or you know Iron Man, whatever, what it's would our theme one. song be? Doig is Swift. Doig is Swift. That's that's just <laughs> that's just an already one. No, it's not. That's what are you Spider Man. About? You're watching Doig and Swift. You're watching Doig and Swift. You're watching Doig and Swift. That's just X-Men. It's AM. No, it's not. What are you talking about? You're just using the melodies from, from <laughs> established ones. No, no, no. What yeah, about... Yeah, um, yeah. D -d -d Doig and Swift. In the morning, D -d -d Doig and Swift. Come and watch it. No, no, they never fail to make some art. <laughs> yeah, Whatever they do. they do, they've got heart. D -d -d Doig and Swift. What about that? That's Rescue Rangers, my dude. Hmm. What about? What are you watching? You're watching Doig and Swift. <laughs> Shit! What one is that? <laughs> oh, which one is that, Doig? Du -du 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 -du. Oh, I don't know. I I know it, but I don't know it. It's Bucky. 
Captain Bucky O'Hare. Oh, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> JJ will not be pleased. Okay, okay, I've got it. Look out when they start streaming. It's Doigan, it's Swifty. Don't doubt what they be meaning. Doigan, it's Swifty. Swifty, now it's all about her. Swifty, <coughs> she's got some awesome hair. Swifty, she's the fastest thing on the earth. <laughs> How about that? It's not taken. Uh, yeah, no, that's completely original. Yeah, very. Swifty born, the throne awaits. No. <laughs> Swifty underground. She made a vow her mother will be found. <laughs> you say what you want about Sonic Underground. That theme song was something else. We got a crow mail from Minty Brath who says me and my brothers have this long running prank where we hide a set and put on DVD in stuff to give each other. Like hiding the thing in a kid's DVD case or inside a folder. You never know when it shows up. That's amazing. <laughs> well, is it like a particular porn or is it just like a random one? That is, that's awesome. I've I've managed to figure out how to get um Twitch Twitch stuff into OBS so that I can look at I can look at chat and not have to bring up like a Chrome window. It's all just there inside of inside of the thing. It means I can also look at um I can just play the game on on the on the screen and not have to look up anymore. That's amazing. Yeah, it's good. I like. I don't know where my language went. You're amazing. Onsta says Sonic Underground's rock opera OP was powerful. Right? It was so good. It's no good. It's so good. That's so good. Do you remember the Count Ducula theme? I never really watched it, so I don't remember it much. I don't actually, no. I also did not partake. It's always the same DVD. That's so funny. It's called Zombie Schwestern. Why well, such a weird name for a porn? They don't even didn't even insert any boobs in there. They could have called it Bumby Schwestern. <laughs> I don't know. I knew a group of friends who um they would continually give one another for their birthdays like a truck game. A truck game, yeah, like truck sim simulator or something. Yeah, I think so. Or Amazing. Or was, I don't think it was truck simulator. I think it was something like even more. But by by like five years, everyone had like so many multiple copies <laughs> of this amazing. truck game. I love how many questions that would bring up to anyone you're bringing to your apartment for the first time. <laughs> Man, you're really into trucks. Yeah. I'm not honest. Why do you have like six copies of the same game? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, it's German, so it's Zombie Sisters in English, I believe. Oh, now we're talking. Zombie Sisters. <laughs> yeah, I I never really watched Count Dracula, so I'm not sure what the theme song was. Maybe it'd be really fitting to do a cover of. Maybe. If it's a good theme song, then yeah. Like, let's not beat around the bush here. Kids, kids theme songs for kids shows are like... Some of the catchiest, coolest tunes. Yep. Are you kidding me? Rescue Rangers? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Dude, I feel like soundtracks from the 80s are some of the best. Oh, they are for sure. But like, is that because of the composers who were, you know, who I were think, composing I think it's because we got time? old and our tastes are fixed in time. I don't. I think that a John Williams soundtrack is always going to give you tingles. Yeah, man. Uh, even, if, even if you didn't grow up with it. Because it's just great music. 
But back then, it was like Hans Zimmer and John Williams like scoring everything. Yeah, that's true. So I think that's why. It's just they were real good. Just real good. Oh yeah, gummy bears. Jumping here and there and everywhere. Let's have a look. Ayo Sakura, can you link it? Uh, yeah, sure. TMNT, also super good. Yeah. Rolling up in shadows, New York City underground. Uh, not the one they're talking about. <laughs> That's the one I'm talking about. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was in a half shell. Turtle power. <laughs> Sonic X went off too. I think I didn't have a very good opening for Sonic X because I think it was different in the UK. So the one we had was just Sonic X, Sonic X, Sonic, Sonic X. That was it. Yeah, it was pretty terrible. But I think in America it was like, gotta go fast. Gotta, gotta go, go faster, 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 faster. Yeah. I've heard that one though. I have too, but I didn't know where it was from. And then I found out where it's from Sonic X's opening. I like that if if you did like those just sound like the same song. Sonic X. Sonic, Sonic X. X. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. I just... wonder why they changed it. I don't know, man. Why do they change anything? Why does anything change? Yeah, cause like you had that one too. It was really rubbish, wasn't it? Compared to, compared to the one which you got in America, which is so much cooler. Oh, the mornings of watching badly dubbed Sailor Moon before school. I never watched Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon's got an incredible theme song. You know the Sailor Moon theme song, don't you? I do not. Do you not? You've been with me long enough to hear me sing it. Have I? Sing it. Yeah. Uh, fighting evil by moonlight. Yeah, no, I know that one. <laughs> yeah, you do. There are there are so many dude, there's so many songs that I only know your covers of. <laughs> and then when I hear them out in the world, I'm like oh, I know this. How do I know this? Oh, it's it's this songbird over here has just been singing it. Yeah around the kitchen for like seven years win in love by daylight never running from a real fight she is the one named sailor moon she is always there for her friends <laughs> i was always like they're really trying to fit those words into that song aren't they in a way that does not feel supernatural well let's see alistair has linked I always get freaked out when I hear this song on our stream because it's the same one that Castlehead uses on his like waiting screen. And it, I heard it there first. Um, this is just that association for me now. She's the one on whom you can depend. She is the one named Sailor. Sailor Venus! That, to, that was surprising that I'll have peaked the mic. Oh, sorry. It's just, it's so good. It's such a good theme song. It's really hard not to scream it. I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay, so I'm, I've got your little, I've, I've made your arm back to having no wang so that I can add feathers <laughs> no, to it. No, my wanging arm. <laughs> your wanging arm is, <laughs> is defeated. No. I need to add. I just, let's pull this out. Make Minty Breath, unless you remember the dubbed card Captain Sakura theme. And it's like the Japanese music, but they dubbed it in Dutch, and it's so bad. Oh man, really? I used to love the Card Captor, Card Captor Sakura theme song so much. It's it's another bop like um, Sonic Underground. And did did you have the experience of like going into things like HMV and um, I think it used to be Virgin as well. Uh. And you would go to like the world cinema to look for anime DVDs. Uh huh. Yeah. And, and there was I just, just like the tiniest selection. Yeah. And you just buy whatever looked kind of cool. Yeah. Um, even if it wasn't necessarily volume one, because you would just take what you could get. 
that was like before anime was e was like even a even a thing um in the, like the uk market it was still seen as super niche yeah secrets of the cloud were all a mystery but when that mighty book was opened the powers was set free one thing which always annoyed me <laughs> in that song is like it said the powers was set free i'm like were <laughs> they were set free the power were set free you know what really annoys me hmm? the, the in the song let it go Fucking say snow. I am one with the wind and sky. Just say snow. <laughs> we every were all single, expecting every single it. time. Yeah, it's because they want to rhyme it with cry later on. But I'm with you, dude. I'm right there with you. Let it go. Let, Let it, it go. go. I'm one with the wind and snow. Yes. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold me back no more. Bus driver Katerp says, let it go, doi. Never. I will never let it go. Yeah, exactly, Ula. This is the what grinds my gears portion. You know what really grinds my gears? Oil. No, in fact, that does the opposite. It makes my gears operate nice and smoothly. What? What grinds your gears? I, d I can't think of anything. I've run <laughs> out. That was all the things. I just I just said them all. Oh, okay. Then why would you say... I thought you out. Know, you know what really get rains your gears then? I just wanted to say the phrase. Oh. I was hoping <laughs> something would come to me. As I was talking, but it really didn't. I think children over the age of three should learn to use their words. They do. No, what I mean is... Like... You know when you're in a store and there's like obviously a kid that's like over three years old and they're just screaming at the top of their lungs like they're crying and they're upset. I really just wish that like that age they were like I can articulate what's wrong with me and I'll say it in a calm and quiet manner to my parents and only they need to know about this. I get you. I think that often they, the parents know and the kid has articulated, but the kid just hasn't got what they want. And so they're upset about it. Well, they should come like, to terms with the real world then. Like, mummy, daddy, I want a chocolate orange. No, child, you cannot have one. Well, then I will cry. I will cry long. I will cry hard into the night. You will rue the day that you said no to me. And then they go. No. That's I, like... been my general experience. That that is that is an edge case here, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> there's like two to three year olds that are just like, there is something wrong with me, and I'm going to be loud. I'm going to let the world know there's something wrong. <laughs> Hold on, did we miss a crow mail? Let me check. Yeah, we got a crow mail from Ben. He says, you know, it really grinds my gears when Ben mumbles and it's not just pain noise. So. Thanks for that, Ben. You don't think redeems <laughs> are working? What? <sighs> Did they just stop halfway through? What? Let me try restarting and see if that's the issue. Weird. Because we know that it's been fixed. Because we know that it's been fixed. But we don't know what is wrong. We know that it's been fixed. It's been fixed, but not for long. <laughs> Soxy Creation says, Haha, as a parent, we try to get them to, but they have different brains. There you go. Ah. Uh, we try, doig. This is the chorus of parents I going, We try, I'm doig. Not, I'm not blaming the parents. I just wish... You're blaming I just the wish, children. I just wish... You, yeah, I just wish human children would just, like, be like, you know what? This is an inconvenience to both me and everyone around me if I scream. Maybe I'll just consider being quiet instead and rue the day. Rue this day. And quiet, quiet anger. That's what I want. That's the world I want. You just want every kid to be you. Yeah. And just, just internalize the hatred and rage. Yeah. <laughs> I... 
I'm not talking about kids who are like really, really young and like, yeah, like yelling is the only thing that they can do. I'm talking about the kids who have a choice. Who can be like, I'm not gonna scream like a like an infant anymore. I'm gonna you know, though, shirk it is, that. It is true that sometimes I wish I could scream like an infant. <laughs> Dog teaches kids says teach kids to see. <laughs> oh, Titanium Atlas! Thank you for the thank you for the gift it the 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 prime prime sub, my dude. Oh yeah, thank you so much, Titanium Atlas. We really appreciate it. Thanks for your generosity. Yeah, once they're five-ish, there's no excuse. I agree. Internalizing big emotions at that age is what leads to emotional trauma. <gasps> yeah, I can Whoa, relate I... to that. <laughs> yeah, doig. So trying to get people to internalize all of their hatred and anger. No, it's what keeps me strong. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Your daughter is 4.75. 4.75 What, meters? <laughs> I think you mean age. Okay, and she doesn't really scream anymore. Awesome. There's just kids around here that are in the store, and you can hear them from one end of the store to the other, and it's just like... <sighs> Well, this is my shopping experience ruined for the next 10 to 15 minutes. I get you. Because they're not going to stop. That's kids though, isn't it? Like you'll No! No, it's not! That's just what people say. Kids don't have to do this. No? Parents are just at their wit's end. They're like, I'll just ignore it until they stop. But everyone else has to ignore it until they stop. Stop it. Let's, put, let's get muzzles legalized. <laughs> kids will stop screaming if we muzzle them. They'll have to. They won't have a choice. Yeah. Like, don't get, don't make me get the muzzle out. <laughs> this is why we don't have kids, guys. <laughs> oh, yo! I think you got some press ups. You know I'm speaking the truth. Don't punish me for saying something that's sensible. Those press ups are from the kids. <laughs> the kids of this generation. No. How Being you, like muzzlers, will you? How do you? Yeah. We'll destroy you with press ups. See, Rin is it? Zando is like, I checked back in at muzzling children, and honestly, I'm not mad at this. Yeah. Why would you be mad at it? <laughs> it's humane. I don't know. I feel like that's the way that kids communicate, because, you know, when they first, when they first are alive, screaming is just the first thing that they do. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about kids below the age of being able to talk. It's fine. They can scream. That's oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just mean that it's still like... It still feels like that's how they've learned to get attention and say there's something wrong. I think it just takes a little bit of time to like get out of the habit of doing that and understand there's other ways. Yeah. Well, I, I say we start teaching them as early as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, f I, feel, I feel like... Bring out the muzzles! Okay, I have an experience when I was like, like my brother is 13 years younger than I am. And there was a point where like, he was just screaming. And I just looked at him and then rather than like screaming back at him or whatever, I went, you're being really annoying and you're upsetting mom. You, you need to stop. You need to stop and you need to go and apologize to her because this behavior, it's just not good. And like, you, you gotta stop. And he, he, he was like, ha! Oh. And then he went and apologized to her. What do you think um, your mom could have done? I don't, I don't know. But I think there's a, there's, I think when, when kids are screaming and parents are like, I don't want to deal with that, then there's just this big rift of like miscommunication that people just yell at each other. I get you. Okay, I've got a counterpoint for you. Mm hmm. Okay. So imagine that instead of a kid, it's a cat. And imagine that the cat is just hungry and wants some food. So you know what the problem is and you know how to solve it. And you know that if you don't give the cat food, it's going to cry and yell at you. Uh-huh. And now tell me that every single time you're going to be able to be reasonable and go and give that cat what it needs without it needing to start screaming at you to get it. 
and understand that I have a real point of reference in the real world. <laughs> I know. For you throwing socks at the cat and going, shut up! <laughs> I know. <laughs> but that's the cat. Mm -hmm. Now imagine the cat's a child and it's doing the same thing. Yeah, well, I would just talk to the child. I wouldn't talk to the cat reasonably like, look, cat, I've got a deadline I'm trying to hit. So if you just go away in the corner and sleep for a little bit, I'll feed you in like 20 minutes. I'm not sure that a four-year-old will understand the concept of why your deadline's more important than them eating. You don't know. <laughs> I don't. I have experience at being a four-year-old who's a nightmare to deal with. Yeah, but you were a nightmare. Yeah, I was. I wasn't a nightmare. You see? I I'm was a reasonable adult. I'm quite the perspective adult. of someone who was a nightmare, and I don't understand why your deadline's more important than me. <coughs> I should be the most important thing. You need a cat whisperer. <laughs> there was this really, I was in the park once and there was this kid and their parents and he was maybe like three. He's maybe like three years old or something, three and a half maybe. And the parents were like, okay, I think we're about done here in the park. Uh, we were thinking of going to here. What do you think about that? Timothy. And Timothy was like, I like that. Or something and like and they were like, okay, cool. We'll be we'll be going in about five minutes and the kid was just like, yo, okay I was like The dream is possible It is possible Doig, but it might not be possible every single time. It's not it's not but that's why I wish all kids were like where you're just like Hey, I'll treat I'll tell you about what we're doing and then, and then see what your input is and then, well, then we'll go and then That's we'll the, do the thing, thing though, like Ayo Sakura says, every kid is different Every kid is different And yeah, also <laughs> That's what the muzzles are for Also calling out Dark Vault Who says, you're already on the way to give the cat food and the cat just doesn't stop Because yeah, yeah, been there It's like, I'm giving you food, I'm, I'm literally opening the packet in front of your bowl And taking it out and putting it on the bowl right now And the cat's like, mwah! Mwah! Yeah, yeah. Cat, please. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go do all these punishments, yeah. I guess. Sakura says, you just wish every every kid was you, Doig. Yeah, I do. That's why I said my superpower, if I was a supervillain, would be, I'd be called the mute. And I'd be mm -hmm. able to mute sound sources at the source. Yeah, just make everything be quiet. Yeah. He says things like that, and then I'm like, why are you with me? <laughs> why did you choose me as a partner? Because you make the funny noises. Aww. Aww. Aww, Kurzak says mute the ringing in my ears, Joy. Kurzak, you feeling any better? Wow, Minty Breath says, I personally am sensitive to large sounds, so being stuck in a bus or playing with a crying baby is auditory hell for me. Oh, yeah, that sounds awful. It's really like the worst when you're stuck somewhere and waiting for something, like waiting for a plane. So you can't really go anywhere, but the crying is just not stopping. Oh, Kozak says, not really getting better. First it was just right here, now it's both. Oh, no, Kersik. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's one kind of silver lining you could look for in this whole terrible situation that we're all in at the minute, where a lot of people are being forced to work from home. It's that, you know, we, we are spending a lot more time in our own space. That's true. So we have to deal with stuff like that a little bit less, day to day. Not parents, though. Parents are... Uh, now having to deal with it probably more so than usual. Yeah, that's true. Because um, it's a little bit harder to just take the kids to the park than it normally would be. Not having to deal with um, open office noise is a godsend for you. Oh, cool. That's great. Honestly, I kind of love open offices. I'm at the point now where I really miss working with people in person. 
but I'm here every day. You are, and that's wonderful. You keep me sane. But I get you. <laughs> Do you remember when your um your boss was like, India? <laughs> that's my name. <laughs> I think your singing is really great, but could you stop? <laughs> yes, I do remember this. This is why people will be happy to not be working in an office with me. Because you don't have to deal with the constant singing that happens day to day. Doig knows. I do know. I There's been times where you've been like, Doug, can you edit this? Cool. And then I like sit down and start editing and, and I'm like, put the headphones on and then she's just like, Open your heart. <laughs> just singing away and just like, uh, uh. Shish, 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 shish. Grothex says, I've been working in an office again for the past month, now for four days a week. I want to work from home again. Oh, Kurzak, how's that been with, with the ringing in your ears? Have you taken some time off? Melvin says I have a similar experience being told off though I whistle instead of sing. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know, it's it's like a tick I have. It's very hard for me to listen to music and not sing along. It's like almost painful for me to hold back. If he had superpowers instead of being a superhero or supervillain, I think Doug would just be super ambivalent. Hey, I stopped some trolley, some shopping carts the other day. He stopped some shopping carts. Yeah. What do you mean? Okay, so I was walking out from the supermarket, Indian. You know the the um the area of like path and concrete between the uh between the shopping store doors and the the pavement, the escalators. Yes. Where all the where all the like furniture things are. I was just walking along and I looked up and there was these two shopping carts just coming toward me right <laughs> like either someone had pushed them and run away and i didn't see them or the wind was just like pushing these two shopping carts <laughs> the wind carts. was like oh fuck you up dog yeah the wind was just like <laughs> and it was blowing these shopping carts across the across the pavement which is fairly wide out into the car park mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I was, I was walking towards it i'm like i could stop them should i stop them I, sh I think I should stop them. And then I ran and I had a shopping bag in one hand, so I had to, I had to catch them one-handed. Like, ha! Oh, nice job, Doig. And then I, I put them away. You are a superhero. It was a baby. It was a child, yeah. <laughs> Getting revenge. Yeah, you look across the street and it's just a baby sat there. Like, with its arm out as if it's just pushed something. It just slowly puts it down. <laughs> Are you saying there was a force baby in <laughs> yeah. the car park? That I a just Jedi didn't see? baby. That's what I'm saying. That would be that would be amazing. <laughs> and then I shot and I'm missed. It was our neighbor. Yeah, day minty breath. I remember that too. It used to be pretty normal for kids to be in all day and hold on, in and out all day. I need to scroll up in chat. And hop in and out of neighbouring houses and it was perfectly normal to get dinner there or something. Yeah, I remember that. It was like normal to just go out with a bunch of kids and hang around places and like go to one another's houses and stuff. Can't really do that right now. I had a friendship end Sur around that topic. What, around hanging out? Um, I had a friend who basically did that for two weeks around at my house during the summer holidays. <clears throat> he was like... He was coming around, uh, he was staying over, he was eating lunch, he was like generally like doing that. And then I went around to his house and we were like playing outside his house. 
and he he disappeared for a bit and then i got like curious i thought he'd like went to the bathroom or something and i went in and he was eating a bacon sandwich and i i like turned to him and his mom and i was like oh is there is there a sandwich for me kind of thing like and and then he was like no and like his mom was like oh no and I think at the time it was probably like, I don't know, maybe they weren't as well off or whatever. So there maybe wasn't bacon or whatever, but I wasn't even like told what he was doing or like, hey, sorry, you don't have enough bacon. If Covert but, bacon. Whatever. Yeah, but he like went in without telling me and stuff. So I was like, okay. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then I left because I was hungry. Because I was, I w I'd stay over at his house the previous night and stuff. Like, it wasn't just out of the blue where I was like, can I have a sandwich? And they were like, oh, no, go and get your own sandwich. Like, he'd been at my house for two weeks. We'd been feeding him for two weeks. You know, my mom was like, whatever. So I just <laughs> was just like, OK, I'm going to go get lunch then. And so I went home and uh, I was like, mom, can I have some lunch? And she was like. No. <laughs> did did they not give you lunch? I was like, no. And there she was like, okay, I'll I'll make you something. I was like, thank you. I must have been like eleven or twelve or something. And that was the day I was like, we are no longer friends. Oh, friendship <laughs> broken over the bacon sandwich. Yep. Nice. I understand though. Like that's that's a weird situation. Yeah. I was like, it's oh. weird that his mum was also just like, no. There's yeah, no bacon was, for you, child. It was weird. No bacon for you, demon spawn. <laughs> but I was like, I've I've been really nice to you for two weeks. We've been hanging out together. It's been really cool. But you're just taking. This isn't a friendship. You're literally just You're coasting. using me for my bacon! <laughs> yeah, so I was like, fuck that. Yeah. Or if they never like tried to pursue the friendship again as well, if they were just like, eh. Yeah, yeah. It just it just ended. There was no like anything else. Yeah, wow. Dramatic. <laughs> don't call me, don't come to my house, we're done. Yeah. yeah. It's over. It's finished. You fucked up. Got a chromo from Ben. Ben says, I remember when I was young, I knocked the I knocked the door of a friend's house and there was no answer. Then someone else came and knocked and the mum was like, Oh sorry, I thought you were Ben. And I stood there like surprised Pikachu face, what? Like they deliberately weren't opening the door for you because you were Ben. What does what does what, that mean? But you are Ben. What does Yeah, but why were they not? Like someone else came and knocked. And they let them in. And they were like, oh. oh, sorry, I thought you were Ben. What the heck? Why? That sucks. Why was the parent complicit? The kid probably inside was just like, I don't want to play with Ben. Don't let them in. What? Evil. Wow. Enkin says I had a friend who apparently had parents who asked for babysitting money whenever I went over to visit. Never found out until later. Wow. That's awful. I mean, if a family's not that well off, feeding another mouth might put a strain. Uh, so I, I, yeah, get, I get that part. Don't of it. demand babysitting money. Just be like, can you give them like a sandwich or something to bring over? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's better. Like give them a pat lunch or something because like we're not super flush at the minute. Our regime's just not working again. Oh, really? What? That's so frustrating. We got them working this morning. Did they work? Did they work when I reset? I didn't even check. Yeah, we should do it. Let's do one more reset and then have a check. Um, and we'll see.
Because if it's inter intermittent, that's that's worse than if it's just off. It's weird. I wonder why. They briefly worked. Huh. Kersak says I was friends with this one girl for a good while, but from one day to the next she just went, I hate you now. Whoa, that's so mean. What's that's, that's so mean? Yeah, parents can be equally cool. Parents are just older kids. Yeah, okay. Something I've learned. Okay, awesome. Bombs are working now. Hopefully they stay working. I guess we'll see. It might be a particular one, like, freezes it up. Oh, well, that'll be good to know, though. We'll keep an eye for when it stops working next time. I bet it's you, Ben. <laughs> of course it would be Ben. Oh, yeah, the, the overlay is just like, I thought it was Ben. Yeah, sorry, I thought it was Ben. That's so mean! Oh wow, Kurzak, that's so sad. I'm sorry to hear that. Jeez. Here we are, bootleg adult says I have a neighbour friend story. So her parents would just shut her out of the house to have alone time. So she would invite herself over. We'd come home and she'd be on the swing in the garden. She used to hit me if I didn't want to play her games and once pelted me with Lego when I was too sick to play with her. Wow. That sounds like she and her family had like a few problems. Yeah. With just like how to interact with people. That's so sad. I feel bad for kids like that. Mm -hmm. Like. She was lashing at you because she was angry at her parents. Yeah. Or she just didn't understand how to interact with people in like a healthy way. But, yeah, sucks sucks for kids like that. You know, I wish I could just give them a caring, a caring place to go. Fanak says, I have 4,020 toy girl books. What are you going to do with all that cash, all that cash inside your stash? Who has what? Fanak has 4,020 toy girl books. <gasps> Aw, Soxy Creations. You can hug her when she gets back from school. Give her the big squeeze. Yeah, bootleg adult says her mum was very, very, very young, to be fair. Yeah. When is Dog doing those push-ups? I think I saw him do some. Yeah, I did them. Yeah, he did some. I did I did them all. What did you know? He was just uh, very fast I just about didn't him. make a big... I didn't... I wasn't like, well... He just them. left. Yeah. He just left us alone. I did. What? Left no. us unsupervised. Anything could have happened, Doig. I trust you. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, super efficient push-up doing. He's pretty fast. Oh! Oh! Whoa, Crowmail. I got a Crowmail from Ula. No, I didn't. It was from Minty Breath. There we go. Where are we? That feeling when you need to wash blankets but the dog is peacefully sleeping on them. Oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna you're gonna get the dog off the blanket? You can't do that. It's too cute. Every time there is a crow mail from Ben, there's a fifty for a fifty chance that it is disturbing or wholesome. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I was gonna make it so that I could I could burn that things. Hang on, I'm gonna do that. You were gonna make it oh so you could burn things with your with your head torch. Yeah. Cool. I can I can do that. Um, I get to draw Jove. Doi fireball. Doi fireball. And then let's make it 30 speed. And then um art. One lady invited pigeons inside. Oh my gosh. Licorice Art, thank you. Licorice Art says, looking, loving all the updates you guys have been making to the 3D models. You wait till you see my spooky form. <laughs> it's going to scare you all so much. You're going to scare them, huh? Yeah. Fireball it's going to be like the scariest the thing in the world. You guys are never going to forget this Halloween because of how scary the models are.
Redeems didn't work after Chromail. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Stamps. Okay. Are you screwing things up, Stamps? Okay, let's check that out. Who who sent the Chromail? Who do we blame? <laughs> um, I don't think we should blame them, but... Um, it was Minty Breath who sent the last one, if that helps with anything. Yeah, Ula said my brother would often bring friends over for dinner. I think some of them didn't have a good family to go to, so we would have a full table on Fridays often. Thankfully, my mum always makes a lot, always makes a lot of food. That's really nice, Ula. I bet those kids really appreciated it. There's nothing nicer than like having a nice hot meal with people. Mm. That's really sweet. Oh my gosh, Ben, that's really scary. That's legit scary. Wow. We we were lucky. Um, the neighbours that we had when I was a kid had like other kids a little bit older than me and they were always really cool with us. Like they were friends of my parents and I got to hang out with the cool older kids sometimes. Bootleg Adult says, oh, I thought of a good childhood story. Sad start, happy ending. So this dude had a cat next door and his kids were horrible to the cat. Oh no! Threw it in the pond, pulled its tail. Oh! So my parents stole him and gave him to an old man who still has him to this day. Oh! That's really nice. I'm glad. Poor cat. Soxy Creation says, instead of trick-or-treating, we are going for a local spooky walk in a forest with monsters in the trees and then spooky stories and marshmallows around a fire. That sounds so cool! We used to do something like that back in the Lake District when I lived there. Um, around Halloween or bonfire night. Where we would all go to a place called the Donkey Wood. And it was full of these wooden sculptures made by a dude who lived very close by there and looked after the woods. Um, these kind of wooden sculptures of creatures and stuff that were just hidden in the trees. So when you went wandering through the woods, you would come upon them. And they're kind of creepy, but very cool. And there would be a big bonfire and this little abandoned, uh, almost like summer house thing next to it. Like very small, only enough for like three or four people to sit in. But we would all go and roast marshmallows and sit around the campfire and people would bring guitars or tell spooky stories. It was great. I always remember that when we would drive there. Whoever was organising it was super cool. And they would put like flaming torches either side of the road on the little um, dirt driveway in. So it always felt like you were going into some kind of cult. It was very cool. That sounds awesome. Yeah. It was rad. And everyone from the community would bring like different baked goods as well. So it'd be like a huge table spread with stuff like um, treacle tarts and parking. Like really dense, uh, spicy, sweet foods. Give me one sec and then I'll... Okay, cool. Dancing. A sure thing. I think it got cancelled um, a couple of years back and they're not doing it anymore. I was really sad to hear that though. It was always something I looked forward to every year. You like the extra mouth on top of my head, what do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. So I'm gonna restart. Did you figure out what it might be? I, I took some stuff out. Mostly I'm taking out the little Chromail notification thing. Okay. Because you never <laughs> you never look at it anyway. Well, I do, but the sound is more what alerts me to the being a Chromail, to be honest. Yeah. So I also made it so that my fireballs can hopefully destroy things. Oh-ho! Hmm. 
wait till I walk far. It's too late. It's no use. What is this? Fill in this this shape. I don't understand why it's not filling. I'll just color it. I'll just color it. I don't need the full tool if it's not gonna fill tool. More like the fool tool. Am I right? Useless. There we go. Just wanted to paint his hat. That's all. Do a chrome mail. See what happens. Whoa. Yeah, thanks, Licorice Art. Got him! <laughs> chrome ale. Okay, got now, chrome ale. now do other stuff. From Matthias, Matthias Pilid, who says, Crowy Crow. Yeah, it's, it's the chrome ale. Chrome ale stops it. Chrome ale has destroyed it. Okay. And it's okay. not the notification either, it's just a chrome ale in general. Okay, we can fix this. This is something good to know. I think it's a null ref, this. maybe. There's maybe something, there's maybe something not set up. Oh yeah, I was meaning to ask you guys. Did everyone, um, or anyone, see the Snapped Cube Sonic Destruction episode yesterday? <laughs> Did anyone else watch that? Resting Bones, not yet. You did not. Oh, I recommend it. The what now? You're about to watch it. Did you see the what? Okay, guys. All right. All right. So if anyone here knows the Sonic fan dubs, for example, they did a Sonic 06 fan dub that's very popular and well known. Uh, the same people, Snaps Cube and her friends, have used an AI to generate a Sonic the Hedgehog movie script. The AI has generated the script and they are all reading it as the characters using the voices. Oh my gosh. Um, and it's uploaded now and you can go and watch it on her channel. And it's hilarious. And there are some great quotes from it that I won't quote because Doik hasn't seen it yet. So it's great. It's as good as you'd expect an AI generated Sonic the Hedgehog movie to be. I think if you, <laughs> if you want to talk about it, you can. No, no, no. I don't want cool. to prevent you from talking about it. Well, a lot of people haven't seen it in chat as well. Oh, okay, okay. So then, okay. Yeah. Um, this is here. This is here. This is okay. So yeah, you just got to work. You're gonna, <laughs> yeah. Am I? Am I gonna cry laugh at work over it? Yes. Be careful if you're watching it at work, because there were some parts where I was like laughing out loud. Mm, what <laughs> Oh, awesome. Yeah, Tib says, um, Tib has sent a chrome ale. And the chrome ale says, when Indy talks, a highlight on top of her head pops in and out like a second mouth. Um, I think it's how Unity is triangulating the model flipping across a quad. You get that, Mike? It's how Unity is triangulating the model flipping across a quad. Oh, okay. Yeah? I think so. Thanks, Tib. I think we've been aware of it for a little bit, but... I haven't really known how to fix it. I can turn off your rim light and it would fix it. But I don't want you to turn off my rim light. It's special. It's special to me. Is it as good as a generated Batman movie script? That is a work of art, that Batman movie script. It's less concentrated, you know, it's spread out more. Like that Batman movie script is hilarious over like two pages. This is pretty consistently funny over like 17 or something. So yeah. If you guys know Paperbox House as well, Paperbox House was, was reprising his role as Eggman. Okay. I'm gonna try restarting now. Okay, about the, the headlight thing, uh, Tib says, I think if you just manually made those quads on the back of her head into triangles, it should fix it. It's not like that area deforms anyway. Okay.
the issue with that is that she has um, blind shapes created out of that base model. But hopefully if you add it to the base, it adds it to the other one. I don't know if that works. We can try it though. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! <laughs> we're back! Yo, we're back again. I basically took out all the functionality other than the noise. So <gasps> Cornell still <gasps> is still fucking up. Oh, it did. It did. I heard it and it fucked up. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just impossible. It's impossible. It's just it's just it's just gonna fuck everything up. What 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 about Chromail is fucking it up? I don't know. There must be something weird in the code. Is it something to do with um Okay, hear me out. For a little while Chromail was fucking up my ability to do stuff like um, throw pictures up onto the screen and stuff, right? That's true. And you adjusted that to fix it? Is it possible that in adjusting that to fix it, that Chrome L bit of code that you used to fix it is still in there and is screwing other stuff up? I don't remember what that was, but I doubt it. Yeah, but you could check. Like, because that'll be another mention of Chrome L in your code. Mm, that was that was the button that allowed you to dismiss the Chrome L. I just basically took that out. So it was trying to dismiss Chrome and was fucking up. That's just gone. It wasn't an addition. That was mm -hmm. a subtraction. <laughs> Tib says open source the code so Ben and Evelyn and Tib can fix it. Here it is. This is. If you want to take full screen, Doig, for this you can. No, they can. They can see it. All right. So one second. Honor Ward redeemed. Am I still okay? Let's remove this, so this doesn't get. Yep. Yeah, so basically when the reward is redeemed, it goes in here and it looks at the title. If the title is this, then do this. <laughs> yeah, it's C sharp. I feel like, so yesterday what I changed about this was that they kept telling me that this was deprecated and that I should use the other one instead. And I did that and it just didn't work. So this one is supposedly the new one, but I don't know if my library is old or something. So let's just comment this one out so it's not listening to this. Um, I'd be curious to see if bits were working. <laughs> don't don't throw bits just now. Let me reset anyway, and don't feel pressured to. Think yeah, it. we it's can just, probably trigger something like that from our end. Also another. No. Um. So let's try try this new one. Could you wrap it in a try slash catch so it at least won't break other things? I would if I knew what that meant. Astro Library, can you drop the link for Sonic Destruction? Yeah, you totally can. Please feel free. It's a good time. I recommend it. Especially if you are a Sonic fan. There are some great moments in there. Any advice to learn code language? I thought you could choose the program language I learned a bit, but I'm afraid I forgot almost everything. Any advice to learn code language? Um, just try, um, not really. Aside from like, just try and build something that you want to build and then Maybe do a little bit every day. Figure out what the next, what the next part of what you need to learn is. Like, it'd be like, oh, I need to go to the store because I'm hungry. 
and I need to buy bread. Well, what, what do you what do you need in order to buy bread from a baker who speaks another language? You need to learn how to say hello. I would, I like, would like to bread. buy some bread. Please. <gasps> please give the bread. I feel like we had a crow mail and then a bomb. We're still getting stuff. Did I fix it? You fixed it. I think I fixed it. There was it. a crow mail and then it came there was another bomb. We um it was the, the two it was the two events firing at the same time. The crow mail was Martina saying did it work? It did Martina. It did. Hey, thank you guys. It was the two functions firing at the same time, I think. Thank you guys for helping us find the problem and fix it. We appreciate it. Yeah, doig, woohoo, robust. Look at that, it's all working. It's all working. It's all a working. <laughs> Good job, doig. <laughs> what is this? Why am I meaning? <gasps> no way. What? What? <gasps> oh! Look at this! Why am I rebut- I'm rebutting It's currently. so cool! Of course you are! <laughs> Look at this! This is incredible! It's swifty and swiftic and swiftier. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Wow. Who who did this? Uh, Titanium Atlas. Uh, you have to do something very particular for follow events. Um, I haven't because it was more involved. Let me find... Falkvall, I should have known. This is incredible. Thank you so much. Look at this. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's me and my siblings that I definitely had in all the other iterations up to this point. <laughs> Yep. I definitely not just like they three colors just based on my design. Yeah. That's amazing. Yes. I made a vow, my mother will be found. <laughs> okay, so if you're on if you're on if you're looking at twitchlib.unity here on the git on GitHub, um if you scroll down, there's a cool guide from Honest Dan Games uh, here, which is basically what I, I followed for a bunch of stuff. Um, if you search follow, if you wish to track follower notifications, you will need your Twitch user ID. This is a unique number that identifies you and isn't something you can change in order to get this number. Blah, blah, blah. Um... Yeah. Let's see. I don't know how outdated this is. Storing your private keys, blah, blah, blah. And what's this a reference of? It's a reference of Sonic Underground, which is a Sonic the Hedgehog animated series about Sonic and his siblings who are all musicians and have to reclaim the throne that is rightfully theirs. I have not done this, so... It doesn't want to work. Ah... Uh... Yeah, sorry, I haven't figured that part out yet. I'm just reading over this again and it's like, it feels like it stops and there's meant to be a section here and it's like... Nah, I'm just gonna create some scripts now. Oh, by the way, um, on the tutorial front... See if it's on the API thing. Yeah? Um, I was thinking that it would be good to aim to get it done for Christmas. And then release it for free. That would be a good aim. What do you guys think? Just because it's been hard to find time to consistently work on it, but I think having a deadline would help. Yeah, if I can work on it after, after a lot of my other main deadlines, that would be, that would be good. Yeah, and then we can release it as kind of like, not a present, but just like, you know, goodwill, end of year thing. Narnia is a little bit like monarchs reclaiming the world, isn't it? They're like the, f the two kings and the two queens at the end of Narnia. And then 
And then they're like, whoa, we're gonna go hunting. And then they just, they come back into the real world. Please have a tip jar if you release it for free though. Oh, yeah, sure thing, we will. I think at the minute we're thinking to release it on the Patreon. Yeah. Which be, is completely free for everyone to look Patreon. at. But um, if people did want to give anything then, then they are free to do so. Like the button's right there then if they want to. If you want to give us money directly, stop, stop. there is this Doink. thing here. <laughs> you ba, don't... Ba, da, ba. Yeah. But yeah, I was kind of checking with the chat and checking with you how you think that sounds. Do we have... Have I... I've fucked up, haven't I? Why do we have two, two yellow banners, two borders here? And why have I only just noticed this? Oh, I don't know. Why do we have two yellow borders oh there? God, how long has that been broken? Not not a long time, I don't think, Doig, honestly. I think it might just been, have been today. Um, the tutorial that India's mentioning is is basically a um like How a, to build how your to... How to build little uh Twitch puppets and then how to hook them into your streams and stuff. Is that right, Doig? Or yeah, how how to build a little interactive Twitch, Twitch thing, basically a, a a bare bones version of this, like the the core of what this is. Oh, I do disappear here. Huh. Oh wait, no way! Star Spike says, "By the way, Markatoto, who raids you sometimes, it tells his voice in Sonic Destruction." Really? I had no clue. You didn't know. That's amazing. Next time they're by, I'm gonna have to say "amazing job" on Sonic Destruction, because there's a line that Tails has, and it's one of the lines that cracked me up the most um, in the entire thing. I think what I had was like an extra border because our you our overlay doesn't go to to the full the full thing. Yeah, Ma Ma is so funny. I had no clue they were involved in like the Sonic voiceover stuff though. That's so cool. Holy guacamole! Chat. Got a chromo from Fnac who says it's currently 2:51 a.m. on a Friday, and I just finished some work that I had been putting off for several weeks. And I just got that giddy feeling of finally being able to remove that work from the back of my mind, and it feels so good. Yes, you did it. Quest complete. Incredible job, Fnac. That'll do. Heck That'll yeah. do it. It's a good feeling. Feeling of accomplishment. I don't need two eyebrows. One eyebrow's enough. No one ever needs more than one eyebrow in a drawing. That'll do it. I People do always uh, make fun of me for only having one yeah, eyebrow. That, that'll, that'll do it. Sorry, Doric. What are you up to? Trying to get... Wow, our... This looks a little blurry. Just, I'm, 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 do I'm doing tech stuff. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Two chromos left. Wait, what? What are the cro... Doric, can you check the chromos? Uh, Doig is a wizard, Doig Ka, from Mink the Drawing Researcher. Yo, and, thank you, Mink. Uh, it's currently from Fnac. It's currently 2.51 oh, a.m. Oh, I've just read Friday. that one. Well, there oh, you go good. then. That's the, that's the two. Are they? Okay, cool. Blender is really fun. Blender is. So So the tutorial is going to cover basically um, how, how to build a little puppet in Blender. And then how to get your little puppet moving around in a Unity scene. And then um, how to get your puppet communicating with event, like how to get your, how to get like Twitch to um, talk to your game so that you can have things happen. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Bootleg adult has to go. See you, bootleg. 
Thanks for hanging out. So it'll cover using Blender and Unity mostly. Maybe some, yeah. Mm, that, that's about it, really. Yeah, let us know if there's anything in particular you'd want included in the tutorial that you're worried we might leave out. Like, for example, we weren't going to show you how to model anything in Blender. We were basically just going to give you, like, a little armature to go on with, to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, it would be like... I think it will have some assumed knowledge of, like, you know how to model. Um, it will just have, like, particular things about... about rigging and stuff. But a, a lot of it will be... Um, I, I will link to resources that I have personally used, um, some of which won't be free because I bought them and that's what I've used. So bear that in mind. But the cost is like $15 or $20 at most for each thing. Oh, wait, it looks like we missed one from, Anim from Anim Tree. Got to get it. Hold on. I'll find it. So for instance, for... For our characters moving like this and looking around, um, I did this in two <laughs> two different ways. Um, initially, the free way, which I'll put in the tutorial, is I built little animated states for the for the eight directions. Yo, Doig, one sec. Okay. I just wanted to because it's ten minutes old. There was a Chromel from Anim Tree. Anim Tree said, "We're back, baby." All right. And energy won't hear the call, so I'll, I'll give you I'll give you an authentic swift call. There you go. There you go. Um, so you create the little animated states yourself. Um, but I found that they didn't they didn't pair well with having an, like oh, what was it? I think it was mouth shapes or something. It, it was interfering with expressions, which I think I could probably find a workaround for now. But what I ended up doing was getting something that was a procedural IK bone driven thing. Um, it just does the same thing. It just works in a slightly different way. But it means I get little, see I get a little bend on my torso and my <laughs> shoulders roll when I look around. I that, see it. That's driven by that. You see that? I do see it. I see how high your tail go up when you bend down. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> That's probably I should fix that. I think it's because it's I think it's because it's weighted to the wrong bone. It Very should probably be though. weighted to a lower spine. Oh, that's broken. How come I've not noticed that? You have. You noticed it like two days ago, but then oh. you quickly went on to doing other stuff. Oh, did I? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You definitely noticed it. Don't worry. You're yeah. the one who pointed it out to me. Oh. <laughs> you just got a lot on your plate, though. It gets cool. Can you include your credit card number and three numbers on the back? Sure. <laughs> sure, why not? I don't see a reason why not. Hey Skullet Alpha, it's going good for us, thanks. How's it going for you? How are you this fine Friday? It also seems like it's going to get pretty busy um, at work, probably. Um, over this this next couple of weeks while I'm trying to do Glim on the weekends. So I think Deltarune's probably not going to get played until at least two to three weeks time. Yeah. So just to give you guys a heads up, it's still definitely on my radar and I really want to play the next chapter. But it probably won't be this weekend or next weekend, maybe the weekend after. I want to make sure I get Glim off my plate first. We received a really nice comment yesterday um from someone who watched through our our hollow night playthrough and it was just it was just super nice they watched through all of it and we, we were like whoa someone actually watched through all of it because that's like that's like 200 episodes or something ridiculous um titanium atlas uh what, what is it you're trying to get working 
Prince Gala Alpha says, doing okay. Gonna use some mapping software to make D&D maps for today's game. Oh, that's so cool. India, for your eyes, do you want do you want the bone? Mm. Give me eye bones. Can can I make your uh, whites of your eyes black rather than actually seeing through into your skull for your yes. scalabird? Yeah, you totally can if you like. Okay, cool. That's going to make things a lot easier. Yeah. No, no worries. Yeah, Tip, it is, it's pretty wild that Hollow Knight continues to be as popular as it was. I think it's because it's just like a really like good game. It's so well polished and the movement feels so good. It's not inexplicable. It's a great game. What the, <laughs> what the I think it'll have a lot of enduring love because it's just so well put together. Also, Does everyone's just super hyped for when Silt Song is eventually going to come out. Yeah, Tiv has a point. Hold on, it doesn't even have cute anime girls. What do people see in it? That's true. No dating sim aspect. Her eye's gonna be red like supersonic. Uh I can't remember what color it was in the in the thing. Me either. I think I just did them white, but you could do them any color you want. Yeah, so I need I need to Maybe Silk Song will have cute anime girls. We can only hope. They've really been they've been putting a lot of time into Silk Song, huh? Yeah, well I think there's a lot of pressure to follow up Hollow Knight. Make it feel like different enough. Yeah. Cause um one it's gonna have a very different moveset, I'm assuming. So the way that she navigates the world, all the power ups and everything are gonna have to be different. Yeah, that's true. Why can't you date the bugs? Which bug would you want to date, Tib, if you could date any of them? Oh, the map maker. You'd you'd want to date the map maker, the terrible husband who leaves his wife behind. Yeah. What's he called? Something Calcifer, Crucifer? Calcifer, Calfer? I think actually, yeah. I don't think he's called Calcifer. But it's something like that. Conifer. Conifer, that's it. Cornifer, I think, yeah. Look at your little spooky hood. Yeah, Calcifer is from Howl's Moving Castle. That's what I was thinking of. You date a fire demon. Yeah. I mean, it's hot, right? Okay, I think I think the big step next is getting your um, textures. So what color do you want your cloak to be? Um, I think I was just having it be black. Because I think the concept is... Was the concept black and white? Yeah, I didn't put any colors on my concept, yeah. I don't think. Okay. So it's kind of up to you to interpret. You can date the almighty Zote. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Because like I said, I kiss a monster. Would you smooch a ghost? Yeah, Whimsy Ploof says not only is Conifer already married, but he's a terrible husband. It's true. Why would you choose Conifer? Of all the people. Whatever, man. <laughs> You'd romance the worm, Dad. Big boy. I think I'd like to date the mysterious mushroom. Yeah, Conifer's wife is is a is a hottie. She's cute. Oh man, hold on, I'm dating someone. <laughs> I want one now. Okay, so if we create a whole new... Oh, I keep hitting that button on my mouse that makes it slow down. Okay. So we need... We need all of this. We need all of it. Pasted. Cool. Okay, so... The first one we'll do is... Swift... We'll just do the... What does that mean? Thank you for the follow. Ah. <laughs> I, sometimes I wish I could yeet you out of a window, Doig. <laughs> Why? Because I feel like every time you hear an alert, like, 
your head snaps up because you think it might be money related. And then it's you're like, that. it's just so I want to know what rea I'm reacting to. You've said this so many times about the follow alert. It's like always the follow alert. And you're always like, what's that? What was you? Like, it's just a follow, Doig. Just a follow. All right, you sit down. Yeah, have a cup of tea. Thank you very much for the follow. Okay, so you're... Change the sound to follow. I should sneak onto Doug's computer when he's away one day and go to like Streamlabs or whatever we use and just... We need, we need but It's not even Streamlabs, my dude. We need a better follow sign that's more particular to us. Yeah, that would be nice, actually. I agree. It would be nice to have something a bit u more unique. I feel kind of like it should be a horror sound effect, but with our follow notification being the way it is. Yeah. Well, okay, so you want a black cloak, is that right? I'll make it a really dark purple. Oh, Titanium Atlas. You keep bothering your friends, um, asking them to follow test stuff out. I think you can, can't you like um, trigger, trigger events to test? From your end, Doig. I feel like there's, there are ways to do that. Yeah, but in order to check whether it works and is receiving signals from Twitch, you need to receive signals from Twitch, oh, my dude. Oh, I see. You can't, you can't just trigger it internally. Hey, is the Twitch interaction working? Let's just do it locally. Like such a salty bear. So salty today. It's because you make suggestions, but they're rubbish. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for trying to participate. Just because I don't know nothing doesn't mean that I can't sometimes maybe come up with some good stuff. I helped you fix some things in the past just by wildly shooting answers out. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Yeah, you did. You should be thankful. Oh shit, one sec. To touch, give tiny doig eyes and make the sound is <laughs> yeah your eyes go tiny every time someone follows that would be pretty great actually that'd be kind of fun as we've already established getting getting it to figure out follows is hard but if i figure it out then i can tell titanium how to do it so there's more reason to do it now The reason I didn't pursue it is because India lo loves her little follow thing so much. I do! Even though you haven't realized that it's not full screen anymore. I have realized that. And I'm sad about it, but I've given up asking. The reason I didn't, I, I keep putting it down is because like we get follow follows fairly often and it means people when they come in they don't... It's for raids, my dude. It just loses the effect. It makes doesn't me lose sad. It. I'll make, it a I'll make it a little bigger. It's okay, you can do what you want. I'll like I say, it. I've given up asking about it. Because every time I ask about it, you put it big for like 10 minutes and then shrink it down again and think I don't notice. I left it big for the Ross raid and no one could see anything that was happening. Alright. This is perfect music. Hold on. There we go. Alright. No, that's fine. I just made it and poured my heart and soul into it, you know? But if it's a pain having it on screen, if it's covering up too much by showing the alert that I spent so much time making, then that's fine. You can just push it into the corner. What do you mean the barely visible chat, Tib? No one needs to see it. Do you think the chat should be more visible? Yeah. I think Tib has a point. I think you could make it um, a little bit less transparent. I think transparency is a great idea, though. Yeah, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I think transparency was a great idea when we didn't have the backing bar on. Oh, wait. This part of it's turned off. But I think when the backing bar is on, then it, it should be more opaque. Tony, see if you prefer it small. 
Of course you do. It's just like you. Darkbot says, what if instead of using it as a follow, use it as a sub alert? We could do that. We could have the, the present be thrown in and then also have that. If it means we can have it bigger. Oh, wait, I need to. OK, I have an idea. Uh, copy. I did I did start animating a little home bean to it, but I never used it for anything. We could use that for the follow instead though. That would make more sense to have a bit smaller, I think. Like the one I have at the minute really works better when it's larger on screen. So what do what? So um let me just make sure I'm crediting correctly. Yeah, Dark Vault suggested that maybe instead of being a follow alert, it's a sub alert. Yeah, okay. And then does more reason to have it bigger? Because it won't be playing as often. Okay. And then the little doot doot I was doing where I, I blow the horn, if I finish that, then we can have that as a follow alert and that can be small. Yep. It's a can good solution. Candidly doodle dum 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 do that. <laughs> it's a good solution. Thank you. Oh, the toot could become chrome ale. Uh, properties, copy there. I said the violation attacked. Perfect. Okay, and then go to this, remove this. You missed my horn toot alert, but you never even got integrated. <laughs> they already miss it though. <laughs> it was so good. We barely knew it and already we miss we it. We barely knew her. <laughs> um, remove. Okay, I can finish it. I can finish yes. it up. And then add a browser source. Twitch chat transparent. Use the old Chrome mouse okay. sound for a follow alert. Then... No, that'd be getting so confusing, Ula. That'd be so confusing. Okay. Where'd that go? Why is that? All right. And then we copy the Twitch chat properties. That's a thousand by six hundred. Okay, to extract and parent properties, thousand by six hundred. Okay, and then we copy the Twitch chat and we -do -boo 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 -boo. Copy, copy the transform Twitch chat. How come I can't sort of fill anything anymore without it talking? Copy, paste, transform, paste, transform. Why is cool. So now. What is the issue? What do you mean, what is the issue? I'm just trying to flood fill stuff and it's like Filters. refusing to flood fill. Uh, like, should I bring the tolerance down? Maybe that'll help. Right. Aha! Aha! Wow, see? no, I really have no clue. You can see the difference. You can see the chat. And then Martina's message is the one on the new one. Um, there's the transparency. Wait, what? I did it. What have you done? I've made it so that it's really easy to see, but it's still transparent if I run in front of it. Wait, how? Oh, wait. So are you going to do that for every message? Yeah. I just need, I need them to update the chat. Oh, that's so cool. Yo, that looks great. Doi, you're such a genius. I'm um, good. Now you say something nice to me. You're awesome. Aw, oh, thanks. Now they fixed it. Willa <laughs> says, hi, mum. Yeah, that looks awesome. Hey, nice job. Look at you. Always improving and making things better. Uh, hi, dog. He went behind me. It's so hard to do death perception. <laughs> ha ha. Oh yeah, you can escape now. Yep. I forgot. Haha. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Hello. Yeah, so is that better? Is that better? That's great. Hi Twitter. You assume this is going to be a clip. <laughs> it's beautiful. See? 
See, this is how things get done. You complain at me in a passive-aggressive way, and then I get angry. It's and true. I fix it. <laughs> it's actually true. That's uh, that's how I get ninety percent of the stuff on stream done. Is I just poke at Doig until he gets mad at me. The reason the like, chat was fine. barely visible is because I turned it off for something else on another thing, and then I turned it back on. But there were actually two. Shh, Doig is okay. Shh, Doig. Doig is all right. Doig. It's, it's all right. You did good. You fixed everything. Stand shush, on shush. You. Stand on you. <laughs> shush, 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 dog. Now, it's all right. Be calm. Be calm. Be calm. Now you can see it. Does it make reading it hard when I'm like this? It makes it less hard than it was when it was semi-transparent, I think. Should I make it less? Reading's fine? Okay. It's only hard when there's something white, I think, behind it. Like your eyeballs or something. So I, may, I should make the text black then. Well, then it'll be hard when there's something black behind it. Like you're really swings and roundabouts here. I know? should make it luminous pink. You could give it like an outline if you wanted, but sometimes that can make text at small sizes hard to read. Yeah. You know, so I think you really just have to cut your losses and say it's probably easier to read um, with it being white because it's less white on our models. Yeah. Well, I mean, I hate to say it, Doig, because I haven't got a huge amount done today, but I, I kind of feel like that time has come. Okay. I f didn't. I forgot that I, I, I did these to the colors over texture. I was talking the whole time and forgot, but there you go. What? What is it? I changed some colors on your model. Oh. Oh. Okay. But I was behind the NDA screen because I it was a fool. <laughs> oh look, there I am. There you are. I got a hood now. You got a hood now, and you got you got feathers stuck onto your arms. I do, but my arms aren't very skeletal. Your arms aren't very skeletal. Yeah, skeletal. They're, they're not very skeletal, are they? No, but that's because. A lot of that's going to come through in the texture, isn't it? I hope so. Like this. Mm, I don't know about it being like peach colored dog. That's bone colored. <laughs> that's bone. Maybe it can be a little, a little more bone colored, you know? A little What's paler. more bone colored than, than bone colored? <laughs> Could just be a little, little paler, maybe. You want you want to be a little paler. Yeah. You want to whitewash your bones. Yeah. All right. I want them bleached, as if they've washed up on the shore somewhere. All right. It's old bone color, yeah. I don't want to look like parchment. I want to look like I've been sun bleached, like a whale carcass. <laughs> okay. Like a whale carcass. Yeah, like it's something that's been washed up on the shore and then bleached by the sun after over years of exposure. Like a cartoon skelly bone. Exactly, Dark Vault. Like a cartoon skelly bone. Cartoon skelly bone. Yelly, 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 yelly. And then... Uh, I need to make... Whale carcasses, whale carcasses explode. That's true. What colour do you want your feathers to be that are stuck on? Black. Spooky color. Okay. That's Make fine. them dark as the night, as a night sky. Festoon them with stars. Okay. Uh, Save. And de-age yourself again. I did. Um. Yeah, like sorry. a little kenku, exactly. Like a skelly kenku. You're a skelly kenku. Yeah, I'm a skelly kenku. Let's get a Kenku. I'm trying to catch him. There we go. That better. Um, yes. It is much, much better. It looks to me more like bone now. And then your hood, and your hood get 
the same material. Look how spooky it is, guys! Ooh. Oh. Thank you, Ben, for giving me permission to pursue my dream of becoming like a whale carcass. <laughs> Let me just uh, hide this and hide, hide this. There you are. So, what do you think of your hood color? Do you want that different? I mean, from here, it just looks kind of like a dark maroon. It is dark, dark kinda maroon. I kind of like it. I'm into it. You're into it? Yeah. Um, what color I feel like should my... the blue parts of your model be? Uh, well, they, they'd be like... As a rule, all the feathers would be black and all the bone would be white. Okay. Right? We... Yeah, yeah, we could do that. I kind of feel like my eyes should be like... Either glowy or white. Skeleton Alpha says, as a skeleton enthusiast, I agree this is a good skeleton. Thank you, Skeleton Alpha. I'm glad we have an expert in chat to be able to ascertain the goodness of the skeleton. So spoopy. I need to put another color on here. So let's make this your eye color. Wait, no. Yeah, no. I just make I'll just make that. No. Yeah, no. I mean you've you've successfully distracted me by talking about my model, Doig, but I do need to go no, still. No. I have storyboards to do. No. Yeah, I do. No. Deadline waits for no bird. Hang on. Hang on. One one second. One second. One second. One. One second. I gave you one second. I know, Doig. but um, I, I I gave you one second, Doig. Gave it to you. So then we make the spooky bird. This Doig. Yeah. Gave it to you. I know. I know. I just. I don't know. I feel like your eyes should be not white. I think they should have a color. Maybe a spooky glowy blue. Spooky blue? Yeah. Spooky blue? Okay. Truly the scariest of all colours. Because I know another skeleton with a blue eye and he scares everybody. So. Okay, spooky blue then. Should we raid Grayler? They've raided you guys a couple of times. That would be awesome. Yeah. I'd love to raid Grayler. Just go ahead, Martina. Do it. Give him no quarter. Don't wait for Doig. Yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. Spooky, spooky bird. Ookie, spooky bird. Ookie, spooky. You still say try bright yellow eyes. That would be pretty good, too. I'll make them emissive no matter what. Thank you, Martina. Look at you little spooky bird. <laughs> yeah, we already raid. Oh, we're already raiding. Heck yeah. We're going. I like this. I have the power to call the stream sooner now. Yep. Yeah, everybody have an incredible weekend. Thank you for being here today and keeping us company and chilling out with us. We appreciate it. I hope all the people who it was super late for when the stream started have gone to bed at this point. Yeah. Have an yeah. incredible weekend. And may the rest of your weekend be filled with adventure. <laughs> uh oh. No. Ah. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Adventure.